Last night we fixed Lonnie's bog, and as a bonus, we had a couple friends drop by that you might recognize from another snowmobile channel. Through. I think I think we might have just found Lonnie's bog. Here, Dennis, hold the camera. Oh boy! Here, get right down in here and film this. Get film in the in the notch. I'm in there. Get right in the crack. I don't. That's what she said. I don't think it should uh, move like that. That's a factory XLT clutch. Yeah. Oh, that's it weird. is. <laughs> I think that's Polaris product right there. I think that bushing is 100 percent gone. And you know so, what? I suddenly feel I suddenly feel this burn about right here. No, it's closer uh. in the hole. Uh, <laughs> it's that balloon knot. It's on fire. <laughs> Lonnie, where's your wallet? It's gone. It, it, it got wings. It got wings. You're, you're, you're a lot like my wallet. <laughs> Yo. Oh, there's your it's wallet. It's not cheap, but it's oh. worth it. Oh, it's oh. worth it. This... This is how we fix Lonnie's bog. That's how we fix my bog. It well, is. that was one. This is why the grape ape gets out of the hole so good. Welcome to Friday. Don't be a Saturday night another speed shop. Saturday? With all our Saturday. stolen talent from another channel. <laughs> oh, here's the problem. Yeah, it's called tape. a clutch. No, you got duct tape on your sleeve. Yeah, who's this guy? I don't know. Mike? Mike. Yeah. Some no neck. Or Ooh. Mike. <laughs> I want to be like Mike. Ooh. I want to be like Mike. Let me in here. All right, tear it apart. No, I want to get do that it. spring out you of there. Do it? I do want to do something. Remember, you gotta, you gotta you gotta hold it hold it against the spring while you're doing it. Cause that well, at least on still... the last bolt you do. Well, the last couple. Yeah. Which one I want to go here? I don't care. Oh, oh, spin the wrench. Uh, All right, go, Dennis. Yeah. Look. What oh. just fell out while Lonnie's taking it apart? What you the hell is that? Yeah, all you guys with That's the a XL, roller. everybody with the XLT bog, clean your carbs. Oh, I think, and it, then get a good clutch. Oh my God, you can still buy new clutches. Lonnie, we need a smile. Lonnie, it's got a new a name. Three. The extra loose taco. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That spring is good. That spring's fine. The spring's good. The <laughs> roller wasn't. All the weights are oh. probably Beep. junk. We'll take them apart and check. Oh, are you beeping shit out now? <coughs> oh. All right. So here we go. Lonnie's like digging into it, tearing apart the old. Ooh, look at that new one next to it. Ah, pretty. What do you think, Lonnie? Ouch. Yeah. So when we're done, we gotta also check the alignment of the primary and secondary. Yeah, yeah. All right. I've so, never seen what a new track looks like. I'm you, told this is not supposed to happen. Zoom, zoom in. Right down here. A little bit of wiggle waggle. Uh, you a little bit, a lot of wiggle waggle. I'm throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Oh, uh, yo. I mean, I mean what, what's worn out there, Mr. Nutter? Yeah. All right. What is that? What's worn out is the entire clutch. Thank what you. What do you got there? Uh, well, I have a. Uh, I have a donation of some uh, brand new, or some some new weights, uh, 10M5s. Those should work. Gonna re yep, going to replace the old 10Ms. And, I, uh, yeah. Oh. Here we go. I'm trying to understand rollers and what, what, they're, what they're for. So I see here I've got a roller on this one, right? Yep. And then I look over here and I see the broken part of my roller here. Yep. Right? But this clutch actually, the... this actually, this clutch actually has well, no know. roller on that one. So you had one broken roller, and one completely gone. Oh, it was. And then we wonder why it doesn't completely clutch right. gone. Got one completely of one hundred reasons for the XLT <laughs> bog, my friends. Uh, uh, bog. <laughs> oh. All right. For those that don't know, this is called the Jacobs Rubber Flex Collet. This is machinist stuff, and uh, turns out you guys watching these videos actually like machinist stuff. Yeah, so we do Some it. Some of you do. Maybe it's just because it's like a mystery normally. I don't know. But Why are I'm, you doing this now? We're just this, working on a clutch. This is Lonnie's brand new clutch, but the clutch we bought, if you look down the center of it, can I see? 
it's really small diameter. It's for one of these modern pullers that I don't own. So we're going to drill it out with an 11 16 drill bit so that uh, it works. So the threads are 3 quarter 16. So you can drill it with an 11 16. See it just poke through? Good enough. Oh. Oh, we'll go through. Lottie, you got that all bolted together? Uh, not yet. How'd you do that? With the special I tool. I think Mr. Nutter was a special tool. Yup. Special tool was me and me miss with the spring. Oh, geez, that's pretty. Wait. I see one that's ain't tight. Look at that. Oh, We're not done yet. Quality control. And quality gonna, control. And and I'm gonna give Lonnie the hand ratchet to make a round. We're gonna torque him uh, to spec to just to be for sure. Dealer installed option. Yeah, Lonnie, what do you got there? Is the dealer installed right. option? Oh, the clutch is going in. There's no way. The clutch. What are we doing, man? Okay, Put so holes to the outside. Yeah, right. push her in. Push her in. All right. And She's all seated up. Start the bolt. She's all okay. seated up. Put the top yep. hat yep. on the bolt. No, no bush, no o rings yet. Start with the top hat. Grab that. Put it on the bolt all the way up to the bolt head. God, I love these new clutch conversions. All right. Now put your o rings on. Both of them? The dealers yeah. had the option of now, swapping them out before Before you tighten the bolt, here's what I want you to do. Yep. Yeah. So the push it up there, get the bolt the started. It was the North Wind edition. Now push that top hat up and oh, make sure. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. So we're gonna, oh, on good edition, point. Just like they would nope, that high hat is uh, not going to go through there. This is a dealer option. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, get your clutch back up. Yep. Now push your top hat up. Wait, yep. do we yep. have some compression on the O-rings? And we yep. do. Exactly. The O-rings have to have yep. some right, so compression. Okay. There you go, run your bolt up. Tighten her up. Start it finger tight. You should be able to run that bolt in finger tight all the way up flush before you even need a wrench. Oh, look at those figures move. We worked a miracle tonight on Lonnie's uh, clutching. Well, we started off over here on the yeah, carburetors. But does it ever hurt? Found, to found some dirt. Does it ever hurt to clean your carburetors? When is it bad to clean your carburetors? Okay, maybe a waste of time. But no, it was a, no, that was 45 minutes. We did find we did find some stuff. I'm a big proponent of cleaning carburetors before you go further. Okay. Yeah. We just okay. paused Blackberry Smoke for this. This is Lonnie's bog check. Bog. Bog check. Well, fire up and back her out. Then I'm going to chase you down with the TXL and see how boggy it is. Go on. Good idea. Come on, girl. Does that thing run? No. Will they Apparently even start? Not. Is the Apparently tether plugged not. in? Is the tether plugged oh, in? Got it. Thought it did. We changed the carbs. You clean them. Very good. Oh, yeah. oh, the tether. Yeah. Tim plugged in the tether. You have to pull the rope for the current time. All right, I'll meet ready. you at the drag strip. So we're out here at Triple Wars. It's about a week after we fix Lonnie's clutch. I'm squinting into the sun, I'm sorry. But Lonnie's gonna do a couple test hits for us and uh, show that the bog is gone. Hit it, Lonnie. No traction. We tried to pick some good packed snow, but uh, he just blew the track out from under him. All right, Lonnie's going to try another one. I don't know if he's going to hook up. Give her a hit. Well, we definitely got the bog solved, but there's no skis up today because there just isn't enough traction. 
Here, Dennis wants to try it. Yep, just not as hard packed as the drag strip in my yard. That's life. Here comes Lonnie for another round. All right, good enough. We're gonna close this video out now. <laughs> All right, so here we are in Triple Wars. We tested out Lonnie's sled. Lonnie, what do you think? Uh -huh. That girl definitely does not have a bog. That is so much fun, man. It just pulls and pulls and pulls. It, it'd be great if we had some more hard packed snow so it'd hook up better. It yeah. was kind of blowing the track out from under it most of the time. But, yeah, but it uh, was still putting the skis in the air. It's <laughs> doing it. way better than it was. We got powder. We don't need hard packs. It's fun out here. Exactly. Right. So, uh, all right. So that's the end of Lonnie's bog fix with the bad clutch. Get a new clutch, they Get said. A clutch. Get a new clutch, they <laughs> said. And, uh, in the car. We'll, see, the car. we'll see you at Triple Wars, where we are right now. Right out. See you at Triple Wars. Brad shows how it's done. Brad's got studs, though. <laughs> <laughs>